Before starting CPR, make sure that you're in a safe place, that you've got someone to help you get to a vet, and to make sure that you're doing the right thing for the dog in front of you. If you think that the dog is otherwise healthy, but the heart has stopped due to something like electrocution or drowning, then CPR is worth a try. However, if the dog is very elderly, has health problems or severe injuries, CPR is very unlikely to be successful and may not be the kindest option. First, you'll need to perform four checks on the dog. Check one, are they definitely unconscious? Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Check two, is there anything blocking the airway? Extend the tongue and look into the back of the mouth. If there's anything there, you'll need to get behind it and flick it out. Check three, are they breathing? Is the chest moving? And is there air coming from the nostrils? Check four, do they have a heartbeat? You can feel on the chest, under the elbow, or under their inner thigh. If the dog has no heartbeat, start CPR. Step one, lie the dog on the right hand side. However, if they're very flat chested like a bulldog, you'll need to lie them on their back. Place your hands as shown in the diagram. Step two, give 30 compressions, two per second. Use the beat of the song, Staying Alive. Press their chest down by a third to a half each time. Step three, hold the dog's mouth closed and give two breaths through their nostrils. Step four, check for a heartbeat. If you don't feel anything, you need to repeat the compressions and breaths while you arrange transport to your nearest vet. If you feel a pulse, transport the dog to a vet immediately.